지난달 27일부터 시작된 박옥수 목사의 미국 전도 여행이 일정 절반 이상을 지나 어느덧 10개 도시 중 일곱 번째 도시에 이르렀습니다. 바로 미시간주의 디트로이트. 이곳 역시 팬데믹으로 아직 80% 이상의 교회가 정상적으로 예배를 드리지 못하는 상황이기에 이번 박옥수 목사의 방문과 CLF 컨퍼런스의 개최가 목회자들에게는 풍성한 영적 양식을 얻을 수 있는 자리로 큰 기대를 받았습니다. 그라샤스 합창단의 동행 소식 또한 크리스마스 칸타타를 그리워하는 시민들에게 기쁨을 선사했습니다. 7일 오후 디트로이트에 도착한 박옥수 목사를 만나기 위해 목회자들이 직접 CLF 컨퍼런스가 열릴 TCF 센터를 방문했습니다. 그동안 크리스마스 칸타타와 CLF를 통해 박옥수 목사가 전하는 말씀과 비전에 공감하는 목회자들 그리고 코로나 팬데믹으로 사역의 한계를 느껴 돌파구를 찾는 목회자들 이런 목회자들에게 박옥수 목사는 예레미야 31장의 옛 언약과 새 언약에 대해 복음을 전했고 목회자들은 경청하며 마음의 문제들을 풀어나갔습니다. 성도 1천여 명이 출석하는 세배델 침례교회의 로버트 스미스 목사 역시 디트로이트를 대표하는 목회자 중한 명으로서 박옥수 목사의 이번 방문과 면담을 가장 크게 기뻐했습니다. I think he's a very, 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 very sincere uh, and honest man. He's uh, very, very, very anxious to get the experience that he has had with Christ into each pastor in the United States. But you don't have to be known for miracles and works to be a saint. To be a saint means to belong to Christ with purpose in his work. And that's all that it takes to be a saint. Give yourself to him. Have purpose in his work. That is, be on God's mission to tell others about Jesus. Being justified, as Brother Parks has been teaching us for the last couple of hours, being justified by Jesus himself. The shedding of his blood, his burial, his resurrection has made it all possible. 디트로이트 지역의 방송국 WHPR-TV의 제임스 토렌스 목사도 방문해 박옥수 목사와 인터뷰를 진행했습니다. 인터뷰는 화기애애한 분위기 속에 진행됐으며 인터뷰 후 박옥수 목사는 자신의 저서를 선물하기도 했습니다. 제임스 토렌스 목사도 인터뷰에서 박옥수 목사에게 큰 영감을 받았다며 소감을 전했습니다. It was very enlightening. I feel that... Uh... Myself and so many pastors were there. I was just glad to be in the company of uh, such powerful men. And Oak s o o Park is really like a father figure, if you will, almost uh, in the ministry, as he's uh, he was demonstrating today that uh, uh, why sin was in the world, why we were introduced to sin, the importance of sin in this overall mission uh, that. Without the uh, sin in the law, as it came into effect, we wouldn't have realized we were even sinning. But then, of course, he went on in the in the second part of his um, dissertation to speak on grace, and of course, the new covenant that came through grace in Christ. And so, it was very enlightening. And I think all of the pastors got a lot of food to take back to our to the individual ministries and. Um, and just the outreach for the world right now. What a time we live in. And I think that uh, Pastor Parks uh, is perfect for the time we're living in. We need uh, all the enrichment from the leaders of the world now, especially senior leaders and ambassadors like uh, uh, Brother Parks, Pastor Parks. So it was just a beautiful experience. And I just, um, I think Pastor Parks was, for his time here in Detroit, and. 디트로이트 CLF 컨퍼런스가 열리는 TCF 센터는 해마다 북미 국제 자동차 전시회가 열리는 곳으로 디트로이트를 상징하는 곳들 중 하나입니다. 디트로이트 시민 모두가 아는 이곳에서 리커넥트 재연결이라는 제목으로 열린 CLF에는 약 300여 명의 목회자 및 성도들이 모였습니다. 박옥수 목사는 성경 말씀 그리고 말씀 속 하나님께서 일하신 믿음의 간증들로 목회자들의 마음에 복음에 대한 믿음을 심었습니다. The sermon was excellent. It just encourages me so much 
you know, I just thank God for that service and that sermon that he preached. And it, I think that it's, it's letting the leaders, the pastors know that God's word stands over everything. The Bible says to cast down every imagination that exalts itself above the word of God. God's word is true. This is why we're here tonight. And from me hearing that message, I can truly say that all we have to do is trust God and believe his word. And all things are possible because of his word and what he has already promised us. He's a God that can't lie. He's a God that will do everything that he said he would do. I thought it was a great service. Uh, I liked the way he broke down the scripture. I liked the uh, testimonies that he gave about how God utilized him to heal people. Um, I thought it was for real. I thought it was sincere. And I really appreciated it and I will come back again. I think the most important part that he tried to state is that we are sanctified uh, by Jesus Christ. We're, we're, we're joined together with him because of what he did when he offered himself on the cross. But definitely, any time we have an opportunity to come together and work together to build a kingdom of God, that's what it's all about. Uh, the Bible simply says one can chase a thousand, but two can chase 10,000. So the more we come together, the better chance we have of winning souls to the kingdom and driving the devil out. Great. I, they, the choir was great. I even recorded them on my phone so my wife could hear them when I get home. Uh, it's, it's been a while since we heard that type of singing. It was wonderful. 한때는 꿈도 소망도 없는 도시로 불렸던 디트로이트. 하지만 크리스마스 칸타타와 이번 박옥수 목사의 전도 여행으로 이제는 예수님의 빛이 가득한 도시가 됐습니다. 굿뉴스 TV 노준입니다.